Hey, all intrepid viewers, and welcome back to Battle Chasers. Here we are in the hard dungeon, about to get creamed. We got herbs. I don't. I don't. I wish I, I don't even have a good sense of like the economy, like, uh, like how much do flasks cost? How how conservative should I be with flasks? All these important questions. How sneaky should I be in these fights? Poor coins. It's not some lot of coins. Should I beat up these guys? I think they're deliberately there to be hard. But what do I know? Hey, hey, spider. Oh no, they both see me! What does what 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 her move do? Briefly stun all nearby enemies. Stun carries over into combat, also breaks weak walls. Okay, let's try it. Here I come. Rock me like a hurricane. Let's go to this guy, quite frankly. Level 5. Level 5. Level 5. That is... Way too high. Well, looks like we're going to have to, uh... We're just gonna have to... Not hold back again. Hold back in the in a mana sense. Hey, bleed procked. That's super lucky. Okay, you know, I was hoping you'd be stunned a little longer than that. Quite frankly, oh, oh. that's obnoxious. Okay, let's just obliterate this guy. Is he obliterated? Yeah, pretty much actually. Uh, cleave to kill the spider, and we need a barrier swing because we need to. Didn't like him anyway. Well, he was a Spider-Man. Wow, good crit. Okay, good grief. I do like the way how poison and stuff fades away. So that stun was kind of worthless. I'm not gonna do that again. The only reason we're breaking walls. Thank goodness for the level up. That's better luck than good. No new skills though, unfortunately. Good loot, Coast Iron Ring of Blades. Let's see if you want to put that to anybody in a second. What do we got here? Spells of War, three of four. I've missed two of four. A handwritten journal entry is scrawled on parchment. Maybe I should have done that uh, fortress to the south guarded by gun bandits first. I finally ran into General Xavier myself today. After all the chatter about his change since returning from the front, I was convinced it was blown out of proportion. Now I'm not sure it was taken seriously enough. He returned a new... Armor. I hesitated to call it armor because it felt like something more than that. The way it shone, even in the dim torchlight of the outpost's lower halls, was unnatural. I'd say it made my head hurt in some way, but that was probably the hangover. Probably. Carl lost. Small bottle. This mysterious cube hums with energy as you approach. An inscription has been etched inside. Some boxes give. This one takes. Catch it if you can. And empowerment awaits. You should give it a piece of equipment, but you're unsure of what will happen next. Let's give it... These boxing gloves. Because I can build new ones if I have to. The cube has teleported to another part of the dungeon. I'm guessing my gloves will be better when I find them. So you have the regular gloves equipped. Who should I give this to? You'd lose a lot of haste, but you gain attack power and stamina. I'm okay with that. You get a ring of blades. And that's good enough for everybody. Is that good for you? Lose the attack power, gain some stuff. Yeah, I know. I'm feeling, I'm feeling high. Because I got leveled up. I'm level four. Feeling good. Feeling strong. Feeling flush with energy and power. What is this malarkey? Bobby traps. I'm not afraid of you. Although you guys are level 4 and 5, so... That sucks a little bit. Let's do... Let's just get up some overcharge. I think it's kind of important, at least for these dungeons. It seems to be this game is designed is for you to open up your first few turns as your basic attacks to get some overcharge. That way, um, it strongly mitigates how much mana you burn through um, throughout the course of the dungeon. If we completely wrong, though, of course. Um, if we all punch the Ruin Spider, it will die, so let's do that. Maybe not. Poison! How long does poison last for? Okay. I find it in returns. That's not too bad. 
The one guy who double poisoned was a jerk. Oh, I did kill him. Nice. That's a good aw, oh, not a bad aw. Oh. Double poison. Oh boy. Gonna have to heal, I guess. Next turn. With the overcharge, which means it shouldn't cost much or anything, really. Nice, and he's bleeding too. That 10%. I'm getting lucky with that. You poison too? Great. Uh, heal yourself. And you. Jabu Jabu. Oh, I need him to defend so he can heal. That sucks. That sucks. Whatever, we'll do it anyway. I'm not impressed. <laughs> huh. A little bit of XP, a paltry amount. Bunch of crap we don't care about. What is this? Book 4 or 4? Okay, maybe book 2 is somewhere else in the dungeon. That makes me feel better about escaping that other fortress. Decades after its construction, the final order was given to abandon the Iron Outpost completely. Remaining mana on the island was so scarce that no major operation could be viably sustained. The conflicts Vansalor was dealing with elsewhere became full-blown wars, relegating the once critical island to obscurity. As military forces withdrew, the original inhabitants were left to fend for themselves, often contesting with criminal forces, hoping to uncover and extract any remaining sources of mana, no matter the cost. As this happened, major communication lines with the people there were essentially cut off, creating the air of mystery that currently defines the land. Cool. Ah, oh, it's a little baby bat. Well, bat. This is gonna hurt. I don't think we can heal again, because I'm pretty sure if I do one round of attacks... She is not hitting very hard, I guess because she's got her crappy gloves now. Jeez Louise, so much damage. Not complaining at all, that's awesome. I mean, I'd love for him to heal, but uh... I'd much rather stop him from attacking. Yahoo! Yes, yes, we did very good, excellent. We're all very impressed. Jolly, jolly, jolly good. So, so bloody impressed, yes, yes, of course. Every single one of us is... Hey, it's a tank! Why would I run down here? To what end? Just to avoid the fights, I guess? Whoa, it's my thing! Turn around, Mr. Tank. No, 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 no! Oh, golly. Okay, here we go against the level 5 tank. Eviscerated. This isn't, this isn't hit back? This one is. This one's, a uh, bladedly shield. Great. Um, is this two? We'll absorb 27 damage on targeted ally. Okay. I'm gonna do a barrier swing. No, I'm not gonna do a barrier swing. 21 damage or 27 damage. Those are both almost the same number. He's gonna punch stuff. Bring in the ruckus. I <laughs> like that. And you can do a gut punch. Yes, yeah, it's custom. This thing's got a lot of HP. Do not like how much HP you have, sir. Holy hell. Okay. You are going to heal yourself. You are going to bear your swing. You are going to swift strike again. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, why couldn't he go first? Crap. Consumes up to 40 overcharge. Let's do one more attack, get some more overcharge. Nice. Um, I'm just gonna jab again. Okay, well, now you're toast. Warblade. Not toast. Oh dear. Jabba. Jabba Jabba. Do you get experience there, tank boy? Okay, good. That's one of my huge pet peeves, is when the unconscious guys 
don't get experience. I understand why it happens, but then I like I like all my guys to be more or less equal, right? Okay, the cube is warmed up to touch and helms with the same magical entry as it did earlier inside its glowing core. You notice the item you gave the cube, but it seems different somehow. Oh, I tried to hit inventory as fast as I could. I was too slow. Crowed. Okay, well. Can't protect anybody, can I? So strike. What you got, Slimo? Why are you back here? Oh, you're doing the thing. You're thinking about it, I see. Uh, let's do protection on... You're very fast. Fast enough. Good, okay. Uh, you are going to heal yourself. Got damage shield? Is it enough? Is it enough? Of course not! That'd be too friggin' easy. Rud. And also the damage shield doesn't change targets, so she just wastes her turn. That... balls. You're dead. Soon? Bleed out? Nope, not quite. Now you're dead. <sighs> Good grief. I'm actually surprised the tank and the slime weren't linked in combat. Okay, well... Got the gloves or something. I was too slow hitting the inventory key to equip it. What do we got? Knockout gloves. I don't know what the numbers were before, but plus 56 is a huge number, so... Oh, does she not have any gloves equipped? Because the visualization showed the gloves. That's why she was hitting so weakly. So you have 56, you have 28. So, I mean, this is going to be huge. Cool. And I guess nobody? Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to do one more heal. It's not a lot of health. But uh, I think it's enough health. I'm tempted to go back and explore different parts of the dungeon to try and get different uh, Gurnal pages. You again. Okay. Come on and fight me. Is it just you? Is it both of you? Oh dear. Okay. Oh no. How come they get to go fast first? Barrier swing. Um, let's take out you. you seem, you're the one who scares me the most. We're gonna heal yourself. You should be able to live. I'm pretty sure. How much are you going to punch for? It's going to be a big shield. No, 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 no. Oh, man. That sounds bad. How much do you heal for? 50? 93. Nice. Bingo. Awesome possum. Cool. We're in an okay position now. Swift strike. Again. We're taking this brawler out quick. Taking it out hard. We're going to do... Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. I want the mediocre group heal next. That's, why, that's, all, I, that's all I want. Let's... Crush your armor. I know you're kind of naked. I don't really know what that means in this context. Um, got some more shields going here. Oh, I'm low. I don't want to spend all the MP though. Let's do it. No, let's not do it. Let's do it. Regular jabbo, jabbo, jabbo. On you. For a mild amount of damage. What do you do? It's a lot. Oh, you hit your buddies! Interesting. Okay. Well, you don't have a lot of HP left. I think I can... ...probably kill you. Almost. What are you gonna do? Think about it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh... Let's... Attack him, and she should have kill him with a punch. I want the debuff on him. There we go for the Jabba Jabba. Okay, pierced his shield. It's not great. Um, let's do one swift strike. Oh, you're almost dead. You're weaker than I thought you were. I was gonna go for the um, war strike next, but we might not have to. Yeah, this is gonna be a regular strike. I keep building this up, but dang it. Is there a cap on how much extra stuff I can gain? I don't know. I should have done it last turn. Yahoo. That wasn't too bad. Having those gloves back probably helped, because it makes the sh her shield a lot stronger. What do we got in here? I see you, sneaky pants. I wish there was a way to hit you better. 
So you're attacking the back. Does that mean anything? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything to do. Wildfire! Parry. And... Defend. Not too bad. Double poison sucks. But it's not too bad. And now you shall die. From a sword. I mean, I mean now you shall die. Nope. Now you shall die. It's a brave man who tries to attack three people at once. And one of them is a, I don't know, eight foot, 12 foot tall. War Golem. He was very confident in his abilities. Although he did go for the little girl, so maybe I am giving him too much credit. Scraps of hide. So many things. Is a healing thing? That'd be great. Hey, one of four bandit reports. Doing the job. Boss. A few ships came in by sea. He tried anyways. We took care of him pretty quick. The boys pulled a few survivors out of the water. We'll bring them your way when we can. Seems it'll be useful for whatever it is you are doing. I don't want to know. We're still digging through the outpost trying to find the... thing. Be a lot easier if you just told us what it was. Meaning no offense. In fact, forget I asked. Guess I could just cross that sentence out. And this one. Nah. We'll take payment the usual way. Last batch was too fermented, by the by. Gold was just fine. Coolio. What is this? Explore the iron outpost. We're 40% done. I guess that's a teleport between rooms? Okay. That's cool, man. Whatever. Wish I could heal out of combat a little easier. That guy looks scary. Boss. Part 2 for more intruders. Two more ships, this time from the south. One boat, one airship. Boat sank fast enough. Airship got away. Weren't our fault. It was fast. Faster than we've seen before. Took damage, though. Saw more than a few sorry souls fall overboard during the scuffle. Didn't bother fetching them. They were shark bait after that tumble. Eh, but... Yeah, it got away. Might get more company around here soon, assuming the ship can make it more than a few clicks before the last engine gives out. Won't happen again. Givens. Mr. Givens. What is this? Drink from the Shrine of Health? Indeed. Restore 5% of max HP each turn for three battles. That's friggin' awesome. I wonder how much RNG goes into these dungeons. That guy looks pretty boss-like to me. Pretty cool. Pretty boss-like. Um, should I, I, I think I'm gonna explore the dungeon more. The options are, explore the dungeon more, and try and get stronger. You know, level up, get more gear, that kind of sort of thing. But risk suffering the effects of attrition a little more. And I think I'm clearly doing that, I guess. I don't know. Ooh! You found the dungeon map! Groovy! Can I use it with this? Did it do anything? That would be too easy, too easy. So that's like a one-way thing with a boss. This looks like it's just gonna loop around in on itself and probably not lead anywhere, but will contain loot, I am sure, along the way. You die! 